Now today we'll be making creamy uh, chocolate pudding. What we do first is we'll mix our dry ingredients. We'll start with the uh, quality sugar. We need two thirds of a cup. So that's one, and then two. Next ingredient is cornstarch. And that's the thickening agent. And we need three tablespoons of that. Actually, today I'm actually going to be making a double batch. So I'm actually going to do six. Because so I have a bunch of hungry people here today. And next, we need our, our hot cocoa, or cocoa, and it needs to be a good quality cocoa. I prefer, prefer Ghirardelli's. For a single batch, it would be a quarter cup. I'm making a double batch, so I'm actually going to be using a half cup. Also need a little bit of salt. I prefer sea salt when cooking. And the recipe calls for a quarter teaspoon. So again, I'm doing a double batch, so I'll be using a half teaspoon. And take your whisk. Sort of blend all the dry ingredients together, getting any lumps out of the chocolate if there are any. And then the next step is to add the milk. For a single recipe, you use two and a quarter. Again, I'm going to be doing a double, so we'll be using four and a half cups of milk. I usually use the low fat, but you certainly could use any other kind, skim or whole milk, depending on your family's preference. And what you do is very slowly add the milk to the dry ingredients, stirring all the time, again to blend the dry with the wet. Just doing a nice stirring, making sure all the powder is blended with the milk, getting it all off the bottom. And now we're going to go put it on the heat and start to cook the pudding. You have mixed all the ingredients together, you then uh, put your heavy saucepan on the stove at a medium high heat to start uh, cooking the pudding. It usually takes about five minutes, so you'll see, the, see it start to thicken. And you want to keep on stirring, letting it rest every once in a while, and then returning um, to the stove and stirring it again to make sure that you're getting the pudding nice and smooth uh, and a good taste. So we'll let this cook for about five minutes, and I'll see you again when it starts to bubble. Well, welcome back. It's been about five minutes that the uh, milk and the chocolate and cornstarch and sugar have been heating. As you can see, the uh, pudding is now getting thicker. It's changed in color, and uh, as I'm stirring, you can see that it now has a little bit of thickness to it. So what we're looking for is some bubbles to appear. And once the bubbles appear, we cook it for one more minute, and we're pretty close to finishing our cream and chocolate pudding. Okay, we'll start to look at the edges as the little bubbles appear. As you can now see, the uh, bubbles are getting a little more violent. And again, we're going to cook it for now for about one more minute. Uh, so it becomes a nice, thick, rich, and creamy pudding. Okay. And it's really important when making pudding that you are constantly stirring it to make sure that no lumps uh, appear, nor do you burn the bottom of the pan. So it's extremely important that you always keep the pudding moving so that you end up with a great finished product. Another 30 seconds. We'll be adding the final ingredients and then having our pudding sit for a while so that we can enjoy it after our dinner this evening. Again, you can see these bubbles. It's definitely getting nice and thick, rich and creamy. Alright, as the final stage, we do remove the pudding from the heat. We'll have to stop cooking now. Now it's nice and thick and creamy. And we'll be adding 
uh, some butter. We need to add four tablespoons of butter because again I'm doing a double recipe. Single recipe. Two tablespoons. Drop that into the nice hot plate. And the final ingredient is vanilla. Now we'll give it a little bit of richness. I always, always prefer to use uh, the uh, Madagascar pure vanilla because of the quality of vanilla taste. Again, it's the quality of the products that you put into the chocolate pudding. This chocolate pudding is a very simple recipe. And so the good quality products lead you to a better finished product. So now we just combine the butter, vanilla, and pudding. Again, the texture now and color has changed a little bit as you've added the vanilla and the butter. So stirring until it's blended. So sometimes you can put it into individual bowls or you can just pour it into one large bowl. I prefer pouring it into one large bowl. Everybody, when they're trying to get the pudding, can just spoon us exactly how much they want instead of doing it individual in uh, dishes. But if you need to serve it immediately, it probably is better that you do it in individual dishes because it will set quicker versus using a large bowl. An easy great dessert your family will enjoy it well it's been two hours the pudding's been in the fridge so let's go see what it's turned out to be mm, looking pretty good Enjoy. I hope you try it. It's a great easy dessert and your family will love it.